What's up everybody? Welcome to the greatest vlog in the world. And in today's episode, we are going to be teaching you how to order coffee in Madeira. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide. And uh, let's rewind a little bit and see where this day takes us. So I wanted to take you guys to a real cool coffee spot. And uh, here in Madeira, the coffee is generally quite good. But for those of us who really love a good cup of coffee, you know, something that comes from far away, uh, something a little bit more expensive even. And when we say expensive, it's not really that much more expensive because coffee in Madeira is not expensive. There's a, only a handful of places that specialize in, in coffee or specialty coffees. So this was our plan A today. Um, I was expecting to go up into Monte, take the cable car, take you guys around and show you a little bit about what's going on there. That's gonna have to stay for another vlog because I'm not so keen on the crowds. It's already midday uh, and I think we kind of missed the boat on this one. So quick tip, if you do want to go to Monte and you do want to go, I say Monte, but in Portuguese we say Mont. But if you do want to go to Mont, then, um, you know, go early. Go early as soon as the cable car opens, probably nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever it is. Go early, escape the crowds. Uh, and we'll probably do a whole video on that uh, soon. But in case you haven't seen it, we've got a whole section on the Funchal. What was it called, babe? The Funchal, the ultimate Funchal guide. Um, that's some of our older videos. And please don't cringe at the quality. Uh, it was all me and it was all a long time ago. But loads of value there on all sorts of things to do in Funchal, where to eat, where to drink, what to see, all that kind of stuff. So without any further ado, let's go into plan B and let's go find ourselves some coffee and teach you a little bit about how to order coffee in Madeira. Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> so this is the Odino shopping center. And um, for a long time, it was in a little bit of a bad state. Uh, it needed a lot of work and there wasn't any tenants and things like that. And what they've done is something really interesting at the top, the whole top floor and uh, a couple of the floors below that, they've turned it into a little hotel and um, kind of like an event area, bar, restaurant kind of thing. And uh, this place is called the Three House Hotel and it is one of the best places for coffee uh, in Madeira. <laughs> Not just coffee, we're gonna go and check it out and we're gonna investigate, but it's really brought some life to the building, it's really brought some life to this great area. Um, well, there's been a lot of life in this area, but I mean, it's a great area of Funchal and it's really nice to see that this is back out here. So let's go upstairs and have a look. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> I do love my coffee. So if you come to Tree House, Three House, should I say, uh, you got all the coffee in, in English. Espresso, double espresso, Americano, Macchiato, it's all there. Um, we're gonna get to, to how we get there, but uh, how we get there in Portuguese, should I say. But they got juices, they got cocktails, they got brunch starting from 10, 10 to 6. Um, you know, there's, there's all this food as well, lunch lunch and, and, and dinner and everything. So a um, little, uh, little bit of a temptation for us that are on our diets today, but uh, for 14 euros, it's not bad. Control yourself. Yeah, yeah. We, we are, but we are controlling ourselves. So we're gonna get some coffee. Right, let's order, let's order some coffee. Let's order some coffee. Uh, welcome to Treehouse, I'm Zos. I'm the food and beverage uh, manager over here. So here in the Treehouse we work with the uh, special coffee. So we, we have uh, old coffee uh, local, locally roast, roasted, so he, he roasts the coffee. And that's the, 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 the one that we use. We also have uh, guest roasters, roasters. So we have one from Paris, Mauclair and Senzo for the mainland. So basically we do all kinds of coffee from uh, uh, V60 and uh, espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, latte arte. We have food, yeah, so in the restaurants we serve food. Our food is like um, a, a fusion from uh, Asian to Portuguese food and Mediterranean food, so you kind of love it. Right, so 
So here we got our three coffees. We're gonna start with this one. This is an espresso. In Madeira, we call this bica, right? Bica is an espresso. And uh, bica apparently comes from uh, Porto. Uh, they say, beb isto com açúcar. Uh, and that's where the beaker comes from, except we drink it without sugar, at least we do. Um, but of course, you can drink it with sugar if you want. And uh, this is a single espresso. If you want a single espresso, you say beaker. This is the kind of drink that almost everybody here drinks when it comes to coffee. If somebody just asks for a coffee, you're probably going to get one of these. And um, we do have double espressos as well, but we don't say double espressos. So if you want, uh, double espresso, then you need to ask for a full beaker. So that's how we say it. In Madeira, we say beaker cheia or beaker curta for a little one. Um, so curta, normal, cheia, right? Small, normal, and full beaker for a double espresso. This, ah, and one more. If you want an espresso with milk, which I believe is a macchiato, I believe so, but if it isn't, then I'm sorry, but we drink espresso with milk, we call it garoto. So a garoto would be a small cup like this with espresso and milk on top, right? That is for you, babe. Moving on, this is a chino, all right? What you guys might know as americano, all right? So a chino is a large coffee, large black coffee, Shino means Chinese man, right? There's a story, it's only in Madeira that we find this, th these words for coffees, uh, like garoto, uh, garoto, I'm not sure, right? Eh? Garoto is little boy. Yeah, but is that in, uh, in mainland as well? I think so in some places. In some places. But in Madeira is the only place where you'll find Shino and Chinesish. Um, so a Shino is a Chinese man, and a Chinesa, right, is a Chinese woman. So a Chinesa is the same version of this, except with milk. All right, so that might be what you're looking for when you think of cappuccino, usually, or, or a flat white, would be a chinesa, right? Here in Madeira, when we think about cappuccinos, we think about cream and chocolate sprinkles and spoons, right? So if you order a cappuccino, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get like a dessert. So you wanna order a chinesa with milk. Chino is black without milk. This one is for me. And finally, over here, we have what we call a galon. And what is nice about the Three House Hotel is that this one is with almond milk. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, then this place is the place to be. Not only is there an awesome rooftop, but they do have a really large selection of coffee, as you can see. And this, in Portuguese, we call a galon, right? A galon is a latte. If you ask for latte, sometimes the locals will get confused, especially in uh, non-hospitality areas, in local bars and things. If you ask for a galon, they're gonna give you a chinesa, right? <laughs> because they think it's got milk, it's got milk, but it's not like a whole thing of milk. So if you're looking for a latte, then you wanna ask for a galon. So we're gonna drink our coffees before they get cold, right? And then we're gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on at Hit The Road the last week or so and uh, show you some, some cool stuff. So stick around, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There's lots more uh, videos coming, uh, of course, here in Madeira, so yeah. Ching ching. We've been really busy here in Madeira the last couple of weeks, couple of months really. There's been loads of people, the business is booming and uh, even at home we've been uh, dealing with uh, some arrangements. Yeah! I put that in. But jokes aside, you know, we've been really busy here and I'm pretty happy to announce that I now have one of these. So for a while, I've been wanting to get myself a camera. Not only have I been influenced by all the filmmakers around me with Andre, 
with Louise and Rob and everyone else who's been working with us. Um, but I've always seen this as a little bit of an opportunity um, for what I do. You know, I take people around and I show them the best parts of the island and I'm already taking photos uh, with their cameras and with my phone and with their phones. And, and I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool if I could get some professional shots of uh, some of our clients as well. So I've been taking a few photos and we're going to show you some on this vlog. Uh, some photos that we've been taking on the last couple of trips, some sunrise and sunset trips. Um, there's also some cool ones with some waterfalls and stuff. You guys will see that all. And um, I'm very happy and very uh, excited that next week we're starting the big walk. Actually not next week, today is Thursday. We're starting the big walk in two days time on Saturday, which is that epic seven day hike across the island and you'll be seeing more of that on this channel and I will be taking my camera uh, on that hike as well so I'm going to be shooting all sorts of very cool things uh, during the big walk and um, I don't know is that it I mean did, did, I, did I forget about something I'm not sure anyway guys if you're uh, if you're coming out with us and if you're waiting for a, a reply from me or comment from me or something like that, I'm very sorry, we've been really busy. I'm trying to get hold of all of you and replying to your comments. Please leave a comment uh, down below about what you think uh, about the vlog, what, you, uh, what, what you're looking for, what you wanna see more of. And uh, in next week's video or the week after, we're gonna actually be doing a Q&A video where I'll answer your questions. So. Leave us a question in the comments or go ahead and um, follow us on Instagram. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be asking questions on Instagram as well uh, about what you guys want to see in the vlog and anything really on Madeira and whatever and I'll be answering those questions uh, in the next video. So go ahead and do that. Remember to book early. Anything that you're doing in Madeira, book early. All the spaces are full. Restaurants are full. Hotels are full. We're full uh, almost until the end of September right and we're not even finished august yet so if you are coming out get in touch with, with us asap and book your tour straight away like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video that's it let's go